the working of the automatic transmission explained. Welcome back, gearheads. All right, let's pop the hood on one of the most fascinating and sometimes mysterious parts of a modern car, the automatic transmission. Buckle up, because we're going to make this ride both educational and entertaining, a mix of classroom learning and car garage storytelling. Let's begin. Your right foot presses the pedal, and like magic, your car surges forward. No gear lever, no clutch, no hesitation. But what's really happening under the hood? How does your car know exactly when to shift, how much power to give and when to ease off, all without you lifting a finger? The truth is, it's not magic at all. It's a high-stakes mechanical ballet happening thousands of times a minute, a perfectly timed dance between gears, fluid, and computer brains. And today, we're going behind the scenes to uncover the secret life of your automatic transmission, the unsung hero that turns your engine's raw power into smooth, effortless motion. A quick reminder to subscribe, like, and share this video. The automatic transmission's role, more than just changing gears. Think of your car's engine as a sprinter. It can run fast, but it's not great at pacing itself for different situations, like crawling through traffic or cruising at 120 kilometers per hour. That's where the transmission steps in. It acts like your personal gear coach, matching the engine's speed and torque to what the wheels need, all without you lifting a finger. With a manual transmission, you'd do this yourself, juggling a clutch and gear lever. But with an automatic, the system handles all the gear shifting seamlessly so you can focus on the road or your coffee. The heart of the system, torque converter. Before we even talk about gears, we need to meet the torque converter. This is the automatic transmission's equivalent of the clutch in a manual. How it works? Imagine two fans facing each other inside a sealed casing filled with transmission fluid. One fan, the impeller, is connected to the engine. The other fan, the turbine, is connected to the transmission. When the engine spins the impeller, fluid is flung toward the turbine, making it spin. Voila! Power transfer without a direct mechanical connection. If you're liking the video so far, kindly subscribe, like, and share the video. Why it's clever? This fluid coupling allows the car to stop at traffic lights without stalling, and it multiplies torque when you need an extra punch, like overtaking or climbing a hill. Inside the gearbox, planetary gear sets. Here's where the real magic happens. Instead of separate gears like in a manual, an automatic uses planetary gear sets, compact little gear systems that can give you multiple gear ratios without taking up much space. Picture this sun gear in the middle, planet gears orbiting the sun, ring gear surrounding them. By locking or unlocking different parts of this setup, you can create different gear ratios. Low gears for more torque, like starting from a stop, higher gears for efficient cruising. The result? Smooth shifts and a wide range of speeds, all from one compact system. The brains, hydraulic system and valve body. Automatic transmissions don't shift based on mood swings. They use precise hydraulic controls. Transmission fluid isn't just a lubricant, it's the lifeblood of the system, transmitting hydraulic pressure. The valve body is like an intricate maze of passages and spring-loaded valves. Sensors detect things like throttle position, vehicle speed, and engine load, then direct fluid to engage the right clutch pack or brake band for the desired gear. Old school automatics used purely mechanical hydraulic logic. Modern ones, however, they're ruled by TCUs, or transmission control units, little computers that calculate the perfect moment to shift for maximum efficiency and performance. Shift without you noticing. Clutch packs and brake bands. Inside the transmission are multi-plate clutches and sometimes bands that wrap around drums. When hydraulic pressure applies a clutch, it locks a certain gear element in place. When a band tightens, it holds part of a gear set stationary. By controlling which parts spin and which parts stop, the transmission can smoothly change gears without you feeling much more than a gentle nudge. Do me a favor by subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. Why automatic feels smooth? The smoothness comes from three things. One, fluid coupling in the torque converter, two, overlapping gear engagement to prevent jerks, 
Three, adaptive logic. Modern transmissions actually learn your driving style and adjust shift points. Drive aggressively for a few days, it'll hold gears longer. Drive like you're taking grandma to church, it'll shift earlier for fuel efficiency. Maintenance matters. Automatic transmissions are tough, but not indestructible. To keep them purring, change the transmission fluid according to manufacturer recommendations. Avoid overheating the transmission, like towing beyond its capacity, and address slipping or delayed shifts early. They're often a sign of low fluid or worn clutch packs. Ignore these and you might be pricing a rebuild, and trust me, that's not a bill you'll enjoy opening. Modern Twists Today's automatic transmissions have evolved beyond the old 3 or 4 speed boxes. 8, 9 and even 10 speed automatics for more efficiency and performance. Dual clutch transmissions, DCTs, super quick shifts, popular in sports cars. Continuously variable transmissions, CVTs, no fixed gears at all, just a belt and pulley system for seamless ratios. Hybrid and EV gearboxes, some don't even use traditional transmissions. The big takeaway, an automatic transmission is part mechanical muscle, part fluid wizardry, part computer brain, all working together to make your drive smooth, efficient, and effortless. So next time your car glides from a stop to highway speed without you touching a gear lever, remember, underneath there's a whole orchestra of gears, clutches, valves, and fluid dancing in perfect harmony just for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Kindly share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe, and share. See you around.